Hi there. This is Mr. Sand, and we are going to talk about uncertainty right now, and we're going to talk about uncertainty and measurements and how we report our uncertainty and measurements and all that good stuff. So let's start with this. Uh, this is a block. We see there's a, it looks like a concrete block that's been measured in the, on a, from a ruler. Um, and this side doesn't say what the units are, but we'll say that those are centimeters, and this side's inches, but we won't concern ourselves with this side. We'll just concern ourselves with the left-hand side with centimeters. So we've got our centimeters, and I want to measure this as accurately as possible. Okay? So I know that each one of these are centimeters, and so I know the measurements in between, oops, I know the measurements in between 10 point, or 10 and 11, broadly speaking. In between there. So it hits right about there, okay? But I also now have these extra tick marks in between here that show me that we can have a, a higher degree of accuracy here. We can say it's in between this tick mark and that tick mark, which means that since these are all tenths places, that means that this is 10.1, this is 10.2, this is 10.5, this right here is 10.6, and this is 10.7 centimeters. So this brick, or this block, is in between 10.6 and 10.7. We can be a little bit more accurate here, centimeters. Well, it's somewhere in between 10.6 and 10.7. I'm going to say it's a little bit past half on 10.6 and 10.7. I'm going to say it's, I'm just going to approximate and say it's, I, I think, I think, I'm going, to, I'm going to use a different color for this. I think it's 10.6, I'm going to say, this is a rough estimate, 10.67 centimeters, okay? That's my guess, it's 10.67 centimeters, ooh. Yeah, 10.67 centimeters, you have to look really close there. Right, so how do I report my uncertainty now that I've gotten this as my measurement? What I do is I look at that very last digit that I've just estimated. Notice I didn't say 10.6789521966665. I said 10.67 because I estimated that last digit. This is the estimated digit. Estimated. Estimated. Digit. It's estimated. So that last estimated digit, I have to say, I have to admit this. I have to just be honest here on my limits of my knowledge. I don't know, that is the estimate, uh, estimated digit, so I can only say that uh, that's a guess. So I have to give myself some leeway here. And since this is an analog reading, meaning that I didn't get, a, like a, I didn't get off a machine that said 10.67, I have to report my uncertainty here with plus or minus five in that last place. So I'll say that one more time. I have to report and I'll write it down, report my uncertainty plus or minus five in the last place or in the estimated place. Digits place, okay. So in this case, that means that I must say that this is plus or minus, this measurement right here is plus or minus 0. Point, I'm trying to make this lined up here, 0. 0.0, and now 5 is in that estimated place, centimeters. So that means this, this estimation could be plus 0. 0.05 above or minus 0. 0.05 below. And I give myself that 5, not a 1, because the 5 means that I've used my eyes and there could be all sorts of errors going up or down this this um, this uh, measuring apparatus here so that I, I, I'm not quite sure. I have to give myself lots of extra room to be wrong. So I'm going to say that this is plus or minus 0 0.05 for this reading right here. Okay, that means that you can, you, we could possibly be as high as 10 point, uh, what's plus 5 to this? Uh, 7, 2, is that right? Yeah, 7, 2 centimeters? Or it could be as low 
as 10 point, and now we have to subtract five, 10.62 centimeters. So it could be anywhere from 10.62 to 10.72. So I'm giving myself a huge range here in my uncertainty. That's what my uncertainty means. It means this, it means this down here. It means that I, I am not confident in this reading because it's so, it's so analog. It means like I, I've got so many errors that are involved with just plain reading the instrument that it's difficult for me to tell any more than this last estimated digit plus or minus five. So in this last digit's place right here, I have to say it's plus or minus 0 0.05 in that place centimeters. Okay, so that's what you write as your estimation for that measurement. You say 10.67 plus or minus 0 0.05 centimeters. Okay, now let's do something a little bit different. Let's say that now I've got a sort of a, I've, I've got a bad ruler, such a bad ruler that you don't get any of these nice little tick marks here. You don't get anything. You don't get that resolution. You don't get it on here. You don't get it on there. You don't get it anywhere. All these tick marks are gone. Let's say I've just got a sort of a, a very blunt ruler and all these things are gone. Now I have to estimate slightly differently. Okay, I can't use the tick marks. So now I have to estimate how high this, this block is um, just using 10 and 11. So I don't get those little tick marks. I don't get that accuracy. So I know it's somewhere between 10 and 11, but that's all I know. I have to estimate the next digit. So I just estimate, maybe it's 10 point, I don't, looking at this, maybe it's 10.6, maybe it's 10.7, I don't know. So I estimate now, I just estimate that this, this comes up to, I don't know, 10.6, I'll say, 10.6 centimeters. That's my estimation. I'm gonna use the darker color here, 10.6 centimeters. That's my estimation. Because I don't have those little tick marks to tell me anything else. I just have 10 and I just have 11, that's all I've got. So now in this last estimated digit, use the same rules we just use. So with this last estimated digit here, I can say it's plus or minus five in that last estimated digit. So in this case, it's plus or minus 0 0.5. It's not 0 0.05 now, it's 0 0.5 centimeters. So that means I'm giving myself a range all the way up to 10 point, oh, sorry, my, my bad. I'm giving myself a range all the way up to 11 centimeters. Wow, that's huge or down to 10.1 centimeters. That's my range now because of my lack of knowledge with these huge tick marks. Now, this seems a very generous kind of, especially the 11 there, very generous kind of uh, uncertainty, but that's the uncertainty that we're using when we're measuring stuff using analog measuring, measuring tools. So, uh, with a digital scale, these numbers would be one in that last digit. And that would be one right here in that last digit, but we don't have a digital scale here. We just have a an analog measuring tool. Um, so we have to use that five in that last estimated digit. So my, my reading here would be 10.6 plus or minus 0 0.5 centimeters in this case, when I don't have those little tick marks. Okay, I hope this helps in clarifying what you report as your uncertainty in that last digit. And as I said before, if you're using a digital scale, if you're using a digital scale, this five becomes a one. So for example, let's just use a, a quick example here. I'll just blank some space out over here. Let's just say that you've got a scale you get this little scale here. Here it is. And you put on top of this scale, there's a scale. And the scale, um, let's say that we put a little, I don't know, a little rock on top of this scale. And it reads out, it spits out to you that this is 20.12 grams. 
Now, what you can do with this digital scale, because it's digital, it's not analog anymore, and we're assuming that it's calibrated, right? What you can do is you can say, okay, well, that last digit is that two there. So I can say that this is plus or minus, for a digital scale here, plus or minus 0 0.01 grams, because this last estimated digit is much more closely estimated than what we see with an analog scale. So my final reported uncertainty here is 20.12 plus or minus uh, 0 0.01 grams, okay? So that should clear up the difference between digital and analog and the last estimated digit there. So I hope it helped.